Visaraga Enterprise LLC on call today here to discuss an option in response to the potentially low supply of personal equipment or PPE that we may be facing for our health, fellow healthcare providers and for uh, the general public for daily use uh, during COVID-19. Visaraga Enterprise is a Maryland-based veteran-owned anesthesia-led anesthesia services company serving the Washington, D.C., Maryland, Virginia, Pennsylvania, and New York region. You can call us anytime to, for further information on that. Here is uh, uh, an item list of materials you may need. In the items list, a HEPA filter, which is a 16 plus MERV rating uh, air filter uh, ability to filter out uh, 0.3 micron for particles, uh, which is recommended uh, equivalent to the uh, N95 mass or a MERV rating of 16. Either or is recommended. The total list needed uh, to purchase uh, on your own or your household products that you may have is listed on the first slide here. Uh, here, you need to cut out the, the HEPA filter uh, and uh, super glue it to an already purchased uh, regular mask. A cone mask is preferred. But here we have a regular mask. Next, you're going to staple uh, two in the top where the nose will uh, be placed and two in the bottom and one on each side of the face mask. Now that you have finished placing the HIPAA filter on the outside of the filter uh, mask, you are now going to uh, staple this three inch galvanized steel. Uh, it's pliable onto the front portion of the mask using four staples. Then you're going to super glue the top portion of that galvanized steel. On the inside of the mask, you're going to use a three inch water seal, door seal uh, that uh, is on the item list. You're going to paste that onto the inside of the face mask along with three drops of super glue. Next, you're going to loop tie three rubber bands together and you're going to place one loop band on one side of the face mask. Uh, elastic band, and then you're going to wrap that the other side of your three wrapped rubber band onto the other side of the elastic portion of the face mask. Here below is how that three rubber band finish is going to look like on each end of the face mask elastic rubber band. Next, you're going to cut out portions of the peel and stick caulk and uh, paste them onto the inside of the mask. Three cuts. And you're going to super glue three drops on each strip prior to placing them onto the inside of the mask. Now you're finished, and uh, you need to let the um, super glue dry and overnight, and then it'll be ready for use. And then you're all set. If you have any questions, please give me, us a call. Here's a MERV rating chart to support the evidence of a 16 MERV rating. Uh, or a HEPA filter for hospital-based use. Again, we have here graphs from the EPA 2008 air filter quality uh, that notes the quality of the N95 or the MERV 16 or HEPA filter uh, duration of two weeks before it really starts to uh, wear and tear and not be usable. We also have the data here showing the MERV rating of 16 or HEPA filter to support the evidence of usage as uh, an equivalent of N95 uh, using household products. So best wishes, good luck, stay safe. Here's a copy of the front portion of the EPA 2008 manual that you can use for reference for evidence base. Uh, research regarding the air filter qualities. Lastly, we want to thank and support our nurse anesthesiologists who are on the front lines uh, during this pandemic, COVID-19. Uh, we thank you very much, and we hope you and your families are safe. And uh, we hope this uh, video helps uh, generate more uh, creative ideas to support and improve our processes as we uh, need future resources. Thank you.